Hi, this is Steve James, and I'm going to show you how to create custom curve brushes using the topology brush. First, I'll go through the basics of the brush. Then I'll go step by step showing you how I create it. Then I'll go through a few settings to set your brush up properly. To start out, I'd like to explain a few basic principles. I will select a 3D plane and make that a 3D poly mesh. The topology brush works by drawing out curves on the surface of your model. Crossing two curves will generate a vertex. In this case, it's represented with a green circle. Connecting four lines will generate a polygon, and connecting three lines will generate a triangle. You can only make three-sided and four-sided polygons with a topology brush. If there are more than five sides, ZBrush won't generate a polygon for it. If you find the topology brush acting strangely, there's probably something in there creating too many sides. ZBrush only pays attention to the intersection of the lines. Watch what happens when I draw two curves and close off the ends. It only pays attention to the endpoints. But as we subdivide it, it will follow the path of the curve. We can make a smooth curve by adding more subdivisions. At any time, we can clean up the topology curves by holding down Alt and dragging across the model. You can continue the curve by drawing a line out from the green circle. You can also make straight lines by drawing out on the model and then holding down Shift. From here, you can hold down the spacebar and move it to the appropriate location. To remove curves, hold down Alt and drag across the lines. If something's not working out quite right, don't be afraid to just delete it and redraw it. Remember, the topology brush only creates quads and triangles. Just subdivide the area to create the polygons. Now that we have a basic understanding of the topology brush, let's create our custom brush. For this demonstration, I'll be creating a simple chisel. This method allows us to get low resolution geometry without going to an external 3D modeling package. I'll be making a modified triangle with a pointed top and beveled bottom corners. Again, we'll be using a 3D plane as a base to create the geometry. For symmetrical objects, I like to build half of it first and then create the whole object with the mirror and weld command. Select the topology brush and we'll start by drawing the center line. Hold down shift and that keeps your line nice and straight. I'll go ahead and finish drawing the triangle by drawing the sides and the bevel. Then hold Alt, drag across your model, and then we'll clean it up. This is our basic shape, but we're not done yet. We need to add more geometry around the corners so that when we subdivide the model, it creates nice clean edges. I find it best to drag all the way across the model to keep things in quads. Points that are closer together will create sharp corners and points that are further apart will be more rounded. To create the mesh, just tap on the model. Turn on your polyframe so that you can see the different polygroups. Control shift click the original plane and use the delete hidden command to delete it. Now you can use the mirror and weld command to make the model symmetrical. There are a few things that we need to do to get the model ready to be a brush. To work properly, the curve brush needs to have an open-ended object. So we'll delete the ends and we'll make both sides symmetrical so they'll weld together when the curve is drawn out. First, use the move tool to make the model wider. Then set mirror and weld to the z-axis and use that command to make sure it's symmetrical on the z-axis as well. Drag a selection down the side of your model so that it hides the ends. Then use the delete hidden command to remove the ends. This is the final mesh for the custom brush. I'll now go through how to set up your curve brush. First, orient your model so you're looking at it from the top down. This will be how it's drawn out on the canvas. 
you can hold down shift while rotating to make sure it's snapped into the proper position. Push B to bring up your brush menu and select the Create Insert Mesh button. Now go to your stroke palette and turn curve mode on. In the brush palette, open the modifiers tab, turn off tri parts, and turn on weld points and stretch. Now let's test out our new curve brush. Select a plane and turn that into a poly mesh. Draw a curve out and check out your new brush. You can see that the ends are open. You can cap them with the close holes command. If you want your brush to taper, open the curves modifier panel. Select size and then adjust the curve falloff graph. You can save your brush by going to the brush menu and select save as. You will still need to adjust your falloff graph each time you load the brush. Have fun making your custom brushes and thanks for watching.